Yeah, you mad goes. Yeah. It, I I will take I will take a, a silver lining uh-huh. with that. Jason Tatum thinking that he's the go to goats isn't even the best player on his team, so he can't get that top recognition. You couldn't even find a picture with Jason Tatum face on it. Uh, he didn't win Finals MVP, did he? <laughs> you got to be a Finals MVP to get in this picture, baby. But what's it? What? He's got what? Bill Russell, another Finals MVP. Oh my! Because he won the Bill Russell Award because he put in that work. I guess so, man. But if you didn't know, man, the NBA Finals just happened. So, yes, ladies, yes, your man is done watching NBA basketball. But we still, we still got WNBA. So don't, oh, don't think this is over, co-host. We got like two weeks, and then we got Olympic basketball. Oh, basketball oh, yeah, is right around the corner. Boy. And then after that, we will have NBA Summer League coming up. And then we will have preseason, and the season will start right again. Because it's only like two and a half, three months. Oh, so you mean this is going to be like, this is going to be, since there's so much basketball, since the Olympics is coming around this time. It's going to be like no it's break. Gonna, it's going to be no, oh. We're going to go straight I'm from sorry. Olympics to NBA preseason. I guess it's more basketball. NBA training camp and then NBA preseason. So back to what I was saying, man. NBA Finals is over. The Boston Celtics have beat the uh, the Dallas Mavericks four to one. I it mean, should it shouldn't you know the team is so disappointing. It shouldn't even say the Dallas Mavericks. The Boston Celtics beat Luca because he was <laughs> there much. by himself. I mean, no one else on his team showed up. They chanted Kyrie suck and he cried in the corner. I mean, it, it was just it was a, embarrassing. It was embarrassing. I mean, and they let everyone play Marcus Smart level mm-hmm. defense and never called a foul. But then as soon as uh, Dallas tries to get a little uh, physicality. They're like, that's too much physicality. I mean, we're we going to break down the game. So that's when, a technical So problem. when did you realize that the game was over with, that that, that this game was already over with? That when, we, Boston was when, win? when we won the Western Conference Finals. <laughs> you already knew you was gonna, Boston was going to win? I was praying for a miracle. I was like, the Kyrie curse is going to end. All curses have to end. It didn't end. Of course. And, then, and then I was like, Luka, it's just since he made it to the finals, he's going to be so hyped that he made it to the finals. He's just going to will his team to win. Because I honestly thought that he was so injured that they weren't going to be good enough to beat the the uh, Timberwolves in the Western Conference Finals. True, because every, every time they did show Luka, his knee was all bloodied his, up. His knee was bleeding like every game. Like Both of his knees are jacked up right now. Uh, and, and like he can't move half as good as he can. So he's having a harder time getting to the rim. He's having uh, – his legs are sore, so his jump shot from three isn't as consistent. So he's having a tough time. But he figured out and still had some Luka, super Luka moments against the T-Wolves, especially in the closeout game, and got uh, Anthony Edwards, a.k.a. you are not the father, Michael Jordan, uh, <laughs> out of there. And uh, But you could see it in the finals, man. He didn't have the legs, and they were picking on him on defense, mm-hmm. trying to make him uh, you know, be involved in every pick and roll where he would get the switch and have to either guard Tatum or Brown or Holiday, and they would take turns just attacking him on the basket. So they knew he had bad knees. They knew he was a step slow. And they're like, trashy defense. And they're like, if he's trying to score all the time and then we're making him move his feet on defense every play, the legs is going to be tired in the fourth quarter, and that, uh, that, uh, that worked. Yeah, that was the whole – Especially with Kyrie doing Brick City. You thought Brick Squad was back. <laughs> you thought Gucci Man was in the corner. It's like, what is this? I mean, basically, you see, you seen how it was like. Kyrie like, said he was going to bring a championship to Boston when he was there, and he did <laughs> by throwing the game for Dallas. It was ridiculous. Oh uh, man! Like I a, was like, we'll let you go, saying that the Earth is flat and this and that and all the stuff, as long as you're making you bus- baskets. But then the kryptonite ended up being the Celtics itself. And I literally told you this before the thing. So I was mm-hmm. like, if Dallas gets to the finals, they'll beat any team from the East. Except for the Celtics. And then we made it, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> Mine, we should have just lost in the second round. I'd so rather you. lose in the second round than lose to Boston. It's ridiculous. It's that bad? It is that bad. Yeah, I hate Boston like- in every sport. And then besides that, Przingis was my favorite player when he got drafted by the Knicks. And then, you know, the Knicks had to get rid of him. And then it's like, oh, he's on Dallas. And I was like, oh. And then, you know, him playing in Luka. And I was like, this is a dynamic duo. Mm-hmm. And then him and Luca were both my favorite player, but then I didn't like the way Przingis acted, and he got up out of there and went to Washington, and then found his way to uh, Boston. But it was ridiculous. And it was a Nick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. How he go to glory on the Celtics? That's like super traitor. I mean, it's not his. It's not his fault. I mean, he had injury problems. I mean, it wasn't he got injured out. again. So his injury woes. Like, it's not like he beat those allegations. He still got injured in the finals. He didn't play like a lot of the playoffs, and he even missed uh, a couple of the finals games with uh, his foot. 
True, true, true. But I always said, I mean, with the Dallas Mavericks, I mean, uh, with, with Lively, Lively's all right. I mean, he's he a just, rookie, man. He's a rookie. He did a lot better than he did a lot better than a lot of other other people that I'm a lot really of other people on the him. team. I'm really impressed with him, except for Kleber. Kleber was trash. Um, That's because did, uh, did Hardy his, play? Did Hardy play this game? Not really in the finals. Not too much. He did good in the other series when they played him. Hardy didn't play. Dante started playing good. What about Timmy? Did Timmy? I don't think Timmy. Tim hit five threes last game, but that was in garbage time, so it doesn't really count. Uh, Josh Green played really well this game. He hit a bunch of threes, but Derek Jones Jr. He's not good enough, man. He's not good enough. You either got to you. you either got to uh, upgrade Derek Jones or PJ Washington. And I think PJ, I think PJ Washington is the better of the two, because PJ plays better defense. And yeah. if he gets uh, good matchups, you know, you could saw in the OKC series he was scoring between I mean, twenty five and thirty a game. That's the only thing you really can do. You can up, you can upgrade uh, Jones, or you can upgrade upgrade Kleba, put him in the and and uh, well, Hardaway. Kleba was injured; he wasn't really playing well. I think Tim has worked his way out of the rotation. Mm-hmm. I think that's the move by Dallas. You, uh, they got everyone under contract besides Derek Jones Jr. and I think you could get him on a team friendly deal because he loves Dallas, and then trade Tim Hardaway Jr. a draft pick and something else and get you another decent starter. Get you uh, basically a, basically a different four along a different with three or four a different three or four. Well, that whoever can shoot. whoever you could get best at three or four that can shoot and that has a little bit of a handle. But I mean, like I told you, ISO ball is not the way. You can't win with ISO ball. You have a better chance of winning when you're playing team basketball. And do you really think that Luca can play team basketball like that? Yeah, I mean, he almost leads the league in assists every year. I think he could even do more, but I think he gets discouraged when he gets his guys wide open looks and they miss four or five shots in a row. And then he tur- and then he turns into Iverson, where he's like a wide open shot for my teammate is a worse look than me doing a double or triple team fadeaway. That's horrible, but at he's the, like, we got the same. Sh- we got the same. Like, my even might have a better percentage than them. But at the same time, everybody already knows when you get when you get paid to the Dallas Mavericks. It's, yes, you get paid to stand in that corner right there and wait until Luca uh, gets triple team and he's gonna pass you the ball and you better make the shot because, I mean, you see that's what happened now. But look at Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson was on his team. He left the team with the Knicks. He bought now. He dropping like thirty points, forty points. You're, yeah, but it's basically Jalen Brunson is like another Kyrie. He probably would have averaged the same as Kyrie, like about like twenty five and five. If Jalen Brunson was there instead of Kyrie, well, Jalen Brunson be, was where they would be in Dallas still. If J- not, if Jalen Brunson's already in Dallas, you've seen how it worked. He averaged. He was he averaging averaged. like eighteen points. It wasn't enough, and now he's averaging more. And you see how amazing he is. They wasn't talking about how amazing he was. Still ain't playing he no left. defense. He's like, he's like five eight nine. That, five, you can't you can't have him and Luca on the court together. Kyrie act plays better defense than Brunson. No, I mean, but Kyrie plays nothing. I mean, it was already showing you in these playoffs. If Kyrie ain't scoring buckets, he ain't really playing defense like that. He's not really doing anything. Well, what what I liked with Kyrie is in the OKC series, he uh, had they had a bunch of defenders that were tall and quick enough to stay with him. So he turned into more of a passer, and he played good defense. So he played had a good defense, had a lot of assists. And uh, scored like a like you know fifteen to twenty a night, which is okay. And then against uh, Minnesota, the T Wolves, uh-huh. he got a scoring average up to twenty five points a game because he had some guys that he could attack mm-hmm. that he was quicker with. So he he did it then. But then it's like he literally went against the one team where uh, everyone's bigger and uh, quick enough. Like even if they're not uh, just as quick, they got the vertical that if, even if they're behind him, they could jump and still block a shot. True that, and also with that, they got old man Al Horford. Because if you didn't know, Al Horford like thirty eight years old. They was already when they was talking about this finals, this last game. They was saying, saying Al Horford was already on pace to be the next Karl Malone, to be the oldest player in the league to not win a title. But I mean, yeah, he was that now. What? He was yeah, he's off that list now. But before that, uh, before they won the night, he was the second oldest player behind uh, Al Horford to. I mean, um. Carl Malone to go that long without winning a ring, play that many seasons without winning a ring. So that <laughs> I, be, I guess he's super excited. So that he doesn't worry to, about that do, anymore. Do you think he's going to finally retire now? Or he's going to keep playing like LeBron. He might play one or two that. more years because if Persinga stays there and he can come off the bench and play like 15, 20 minutes a night, he'll be fine with that. True, and also we still got to know about the whole uh, Porzingis as Andrew because you already know now that the finals is over with, uh, he's oh, going he'll to basically go surgery to surgery now. Again. I mean, but we don't know about this injury because they said this injury hasn't happened before in so long, so we don't even know how. No, long I think they do out. surgery. Yeah, yeah, but he might, he might ride this off and like, oh, I have to miss the first two months of the season next year. 
But I mean, it'd be all right. I mean, you already got you already got the MVP, Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown, the MVP. So we're going to see how this season goes. And I hate how Boston got Drew Holiday. It was so ridiculous. Milwaukee, so basically, mm-hmm. Drew Holiday wasn't good enough as the third option on Milwaukee. Because a lot of games where you needed Drew to come up big, he's having like seven, eight points. I mean, because you don't need – I mean, true that, but at the same and time, as, you got as Brooke a, Lopez. As the third option, he was a bigger option than Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez making him threes. I don't know. Yeah, but he would he would have like his best games. He would average between like fifteen and twenty. But mm-hmm. he had too many big games where it's like, dude, you only had like five points, seven points, nine points. So Milwaukee's like, you're not good enough as a third option. But they and also they won a they, title. They won a title with so him, many, guess, and he played great against Devin Booker. I'll give sure. him that. But like as far as them getting back there, they're like, we don't think we're going to be able to repeat it again because we have to be like so locked in on D. Because our offense isn't that so, good. Okay, so when you say that, so when you say that, are you saying that is that management saying that it's time for Drew to go? Or is that Giannis? Uh, I I honestly Greek, Greek think I think I, I think I think I think I think it could be either one. I wouldn't so who has put to pull, it past pull the uh, Giannis. But I don't know if Giannis is going to throw his teammates under the bus like he that. Do, he threw Doc Rivers under the. I mean, not Doc Rivers. The uh, he does he get, the now he got Doc, the old coach under the river bus like that. Now you got Doc Rivers. Yeah. So I I don't know. I don't know. Giannis might do that, but uh, I could even see, also see the management doing that. Like, we won a championship. Uh-huh. We got some favorable matchups. Giannis was healthy the whole time and dominated. No one could stop Giannis, so we won. But we're finding out repeat. we got to have more people step up than just Giannis to get another championship. And they're like, Middleton's good, but Drew Holiday not good is not good enough. Just like Tobias Harris isn't good enough in Philly because, you know, Philly is just Exactly. Trash. Perfect example. Yeah, Tobias Harris isn't good enough in Philly as a third option. So they need to upgrade That's there. what they're trying to talk about Paul George. Exactly. Talk about getting Paul George on the team. Uh, but, I mean, I, I would think if you were the Clippers, you would trade. You'd get rid of Kawhi before you get rid of Paul George because Kawhi ain't never Paul, there. But Paul, Paul's out in a lot too, but not as much as Kawhi. Yeah, I true. see that. And you know what I mean? When the last time you seen Kawhi really play in the playoffs like that? I mean, even this year, he was like, played one game, missed one game. He played one game, missed one game. He was supposed to be the LeBron James stopper. And the only thing really stopping LeBron James is basically uh, he himself. He stopped himself. Basically he himself. also just stopped LeBron one finals. He, he locked him up. Yeah, yeah, you turned the heat off. Prison. Yeah, turn the heat off. Yeah, how you in San Antonio? Which was the worst? You in San Antonio is 109. in prison in the finals? Or when J.J. Barea outscored LeBron in in when, the finals, when Jalen, when the when Jason Tatum beat beat Luka Doncic in the NBA Finals, just just by himself. You're right. It was just Luka because no one else showed up. It was ridiculous. <laughs> nah, Kyrie, but, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh yeah, and then I th- we thought Drew Holiday was gonna rot in Portland, and then they cut him. Basically, did a contract buyout, and Boston got him mm. on a, a a dude that's an all defensive player, been an All Star before, and they got but him for a veterans minimum contract. And what's crazy, if you look at Boston's lineup. They have uh, six guys that have been uh, all stars before, and True. a lot of those guys have been all hey, defensive players. Before. Williams, what about uh, Robin? Was Robin Williams? Robert Williams. Robert Williams. Was he gonna get a ring? Nah, they got rid of him. I think they traded him before that. Was, uh, hmm, who else did, uh, did they trade? I gotta, th- uh, I gotta think about it. But I mean, they said Marcus Smart was a sacrifice. I, I mean, hey, he was on the team long but enough. See, Mar- to me, Marcus Smart and Drew Holiday is like the same player. But Drew Holiday makes more threes, and he has, a, and he also has more handles than Smart. He can shoot. He has not more threes. When I say more threes, he has a better shot. He has better. But defense wise, I mean, they they equal. They equal, but at the same time, I mean, like I don't know. I mean, neither one of them really impressed me with their handles. <laughs> They're about the same level. I mean, I, don't. I see they're about the same level on defense, and then Drew Holiday definitely did kill it from three. Marcus Smart is was okay at three, but his early years on, he definitely sucked at threes. You could leave him open. He's decent now, but he had a, he had a struggle to get there. Yeah, it had to happen. But I mean, I can't wait for next season. I mean, it already talks about the uh, the Mavericks talking about getting Bronny James, and they may lure in LeBron James to come to the Dude. Mavs. Well, no, I mean, what I say about whole that all of that whole situation is like it's too many, it's too much ISO ball. You have Kyrie gonna need it, Luka gonna need it. It's all right. LeBron's uh, gonna come off the bench with Bronny. It's gonna be hard. What's even worse? It's gonna be more PJ Washington standing in the corner right there. You know, he ain't gonna. No, no, no. That means he's never gonna get better. He's never gonna develop. So when the playoffs happen, they gonna beat. They gonna beat y'all the same exact way. Um, I mean, Kleba, Kleba's Kleba. I mean, um, he'll, he'll probably be. He'll probably still be there in the. 
you know, I think if he was healthier, he could have had a bigger impact. I felt like he was. Show the injury did mess him up. I did. feel like he was just getting to where he started playing really good, and then that shoulder injury happened as soon as he started like playing defense and getting his win back and started knocking down his threes, and then he gets his shoulder knocked out of socket and, and playing with it like a a dummy arm. True, true, true. But I mean, hey man, but this is a crazy couple, crazy couple of years from Boston. I mean, they end up losing their coach. Uh, they end up oh, Emmy Udoka for uh, hooking up with the uh, executive's wife. Exactly. End up losing a coach. Now look at it. Now they end up winning the title. I mean, hey, do you think they're going to repeat? No, I don't. You don't think so? No. Why not? I think this is lucky. I think that everyone knows that in the Eastern Conference that they had uh, no competition this year. Everyone they played was injured. Um, you know, the Bucks were injured. Uh, so they didn't really have any competition to meet them. In I mean, the but Eastern it's really Conference only two finals. other people you have to worry about. Them and the Philly. Bu- them, uh, the Bucks and Philly. And they were both injured teams, so neither one of them made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. They played the freaking Pacers, who a lot of people thought would be a, 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 a playing team. But he, wasn't then, he rookie and, of the year, Halliburton? And then Halliburton was injured. He played one game. They still would have lost. So it's like they didn't. They got to play like basically sweep every series. So they got to play way fewer games than everyone else in the playoffs. And then Dallas was coming in like literally limping in from like knocking out like fifteen Hall of Famers on their journey, and going against all those tough teams. And um, you know, baby Jordan and the young OKC Thunder, and then the Clippers with Kawhi and Paul George, and uh, was that like Eric Gordon and uh-huh. Westbrook and. You know all the Hall of Famers they have on uh, on their team, so is it, Dallas needs needs to stay healthy. That's what they need to do. And, and Luka needs to lose weight, learn how to play at least C level defense. You know, not A level defense. He don't gotta be. You know, he don't gotta be Patrick Beverly on the court. He don't gotta be. Uh, you know, a holiday. He can just be. You know, be decent. You know, enough to stay in front of you. You know, uh, not get everybody to blow past you every year. Cause, he, you know, that's something he, he needs to do better. He can. He he played a lot better defense this year as he did in years past, and he's getting better. He had every, the most. He had the year. highest blow by percentage in history. What are you talking that's about? That's in the finals, not in the in the regular season. It's even could be even probably because he was too tired and injured, and then they started to pick on him because they knew his knee was messed up. He wasn't playing defense regardless. But uh, I mean, that's enough about this topic. Y'all... And then they let Boston play rugby, and then at Dallas, <laughs> it's like flag flag football. Like if you touch a Boston player, it's a foul. Where you can close line a Dallas player, and it's not not anything. It's it, just a play on. It's because right. it's because all the refs, if you don't know, come from it's, the Boston it's gonna be area. Okay, co-host. They going Mass gonna come back next year. I can see it now. Y'all gonna make it to like you know. Well, I mean, around. this team only was, like, from the trade deadline. So, they, they got to play, like, 10 games before, like, mm-hmm. 15 games before going into the playoffs. So, it's like they'll get a whole training camp now. They'll see if they could add any uh, better pieces uh, to make a good team grow even better. So, we'll have ho- it- hopefully, if Luka's not injured in next year's playoffs and remains healthy, uh, I think he would be definitely good enough so to So, you want to bet Boston. on it? You want to bet? Bet what? You want to get? I bet. My, I bet my Lakers go way farther than your Mavericks next year. Oh, Lakers are going worse. What is bad? Le- on LeBron's it. not coming T- back. Bet a T on it. <laughs> yeah, LeBron. LeBron's what? not coming back. He's going to. He might be going to Dallas. Let's see him, they man. got the. They might use he's their not, first round pick on Bronny. To, that's not happening. So if Dallas drafts Bronny, LeBron ain't coming to play with the Sun before he retires. That's gonna be next year after that. Not this year. And he said he was just glazing how much he loves Kyrie. That's my point, guys. <laughs> And I've, he beat Steph Curry for me. He had the shot of shots. Listen, man, he better not. He better not leave. Oh, didn't it be crazy? Didn't it be AD and the White Mumbo over there in L, in, in La La Land? Just balling out. The new the new Shaq and Kobe. Who? Um, Austin Austin Rivers and uh, AD. And, uh, Austin Rivers doesn't even play no more. I mean Austin. I'm sure not Austin Rivers. Austin Reeves. Uh, Austin, Reeves. <laughs> Austin Reeves and AD. AD, AD is. Uh, mm-hmm. He looks like he needs to retire. He ain't got it no more. But hopefully Dallas gets a couple upgrades on the roster. They get this team to go through a training camp together, and after going through this finals run, they'll be back and get a top seed because they, they understand how important uh, home court advantage is and make the road uh, playoff road a little bit easier for themselves by getting a higher seed so maybe they could play a crappy team in the first round and not have to play any good until the second or third round of the playoffs. 
I mean, people were already saying this is a cupcake walk. You, they played, uh, everybody was injured. And then you got Kyrie Curse that took Kyrie that. out. And then Luka was injured. Every he, was, time, he looked like he was about 75% the way he had, normally plays. Every time so. somebody in the East wins a championship, we always say, it was a cupcake walk. They had nobody when LeBron James was winning. It was a cupcake walk. Boston, Boston wins a cupcake well, the, walk. The, the, main, the, the main championships that fans are already not fa- counting is this one. And then the one before that was the bubble championship. People say that that doesn't count because when do you, like LeBron, who is old, got to take like four months off and then go on a playoff run? When are you ever going to get four months off right before the playoffs? They said most of the guys didn't think they were coming back, got out of shape, and then didn't even care about winning. They just wanted to go back home, so they didn't try that hard. And that's they say, like, that's why the Heat came out of the East, and that's why the Lakers uh, got a super easy finals matchup. Because a lot of people thought that, the Heat were nowhere near a, a finals level team, and just like I think LeBron, uh, Michael Jordan is nowhere. And then before that, the Golden State ones, the Kevin Durant ones, you know, someone that's an MVP player joining a seventy three nine team that already has their own uh, NBA MVP. Uh, so an MVP, NBA MVP betraying their team and joining the team that beat them. People a lot of times don't count those two Kevin Durant championships. So some championships do have asterisks next to them. So. I wonder only the ones if every, that we count. Oh, I only. I mean, you can see it in every comment section. People don't forget. You, have you seen every comment section? It's like Clay went over ten in a finals game. It's always one person, but that don't matter. They the majority com- know what it if is. If you've been watching any basketball posts for like the last past month, they're like, uh-huh. "Did you remember that Clay went over ten? <laughs> oh lord, ain't nobody gonna talk about that. But, uh, but everyone is gonna talk about how Jason Tatum, supposedly the hero of the Celtics, has no Finals MVPs oh and was God. in fact carried. By Jalen Brown, because we all know if Dallas would have got through it, Luka, without a doubt, would have been the finals MVP. He's the only player that showed up for Dallas. But with the Celtics, how are you going to let the second best player get the finals MVP? He's always... You know what was crazy? And what? I said if Jalen Brown didn't get finals MVP, Drew Holiday should have got it before Jason Tatum. Mm, I can see that. I, can I would say that. Drew Holiday. Over, Drew Holiday was nice, I but think not, Jason, not over Jason Tatum. I, 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 I do. I think Jason what? Tatum was the third best player on his own team this finals. Nah. He had, it goes he had more 20 Brown, um, uh-huh. and then Tatum's three, and then Drew Holiday's two. The same. Brown, Holiday, and Tatum. Hey, you talk about their one, two, three punch. Uh, speaking, speaking about one, two, three punch, it's time to move on to 